Yes, sir. Uh, it has happened again. Uh, <laughs> at last, as President Olusha Gwan Basanjo has finally revealed to President Bola Metinubu the solution to the hardship and suffering in Nigeria. Former President Olusha Gwan Basanjo on Monday, 4th March 2024, advised that Nigeria should approach the government of Zimbabwe for a solution to the current all time high inflation in Nigeria. He noted that since Zimbabwe was recently confronted with the same problem and came out of it, the Southern Africa country could have useful advice for Nigeria. In its latest release, the National Bureau of Statistics put Nigeria inflation at 29.9%. The country is currently gambling with high cost of living, with pocket of protests breaking out across the country as Nigeria contends with increasing price of foodstuffs. Obasanjo speaking on Monday, 3rd March 2024, at a youth leadership symposium as part of the activities lined up for his 87th birthday, said Nigeria have Zimbabwe to learn from. The symposium with the team, Opportunities for Peace, Role of the Youth in Conflict Prevention in Africa, held at the Olusha Obasanjo Presidential Library, Abiyokuta. It was put together by the Centre for Human Security and Dialogue in collaboration with the Institute for Africa Culture and International Understanding, Olusha Gwambasanjo Presidential Library. The ex president said the time of challenges we are not to give up but to face the problem head on and draw lessons from those who encounter similar problems in the past and overcome. He said when the time is rough and tough, the tough must get going. No problem is new and no problem will be permanent. Committing suicide is not the end of any problem. Confront it and take it to God because he could do anything. When you have a problem, look at those who have had this problem before and how they overcame it. We have this problem of galloping inflation in the country now, but do we have a country with such problem recently? Yes, we do. Zimbabwe had this problem recently. Shouldn't we ask them how they did it, even if our approach will be different, even if whatever we shall be doing will be different, but we can ask questions to navigate our way out. Obasanjo also posited that dialogue, not guns or any form of violence could help resolve the various conflicts on the African continent. He said that like never before, conscious efforts to build and inculcate a culture of peace and security in the youth must be intensified to spur them to be at the vanguard of promoting peace rather than being used to perpetrate violence on the continent. He said we must begin to bring up our youth in the culture of peace and security. The chances are where we have a culture of love we will have peace. The first thing to do is to inculcate in the youth the ignorance of peace which is love and fellowship. Look at the attribute that God gave us to have a life of stability, life of peace. They are as I measured kindness, mercy, and forgiveness. All these attributes are professed by God and He shared same with us to make life pleasant for us. But when we build negative attributes, pull him down, then there will be a problem. He referenced biblical characters, Esther, who was able to secure a race from being exterminated, and Joseph, who helped to fight famine. The youth must be at the vanguard of pursuing peace. They must be able to persuade those who believe that gun and violence is the way out of conflicts to have a rethink. The way out is conversation and dialogue. We have had our issues yet during the civil war. We killed ourselves mercilessly and destroyed our best facilities, but we still came back to the round table to get the challenge resolved. Youth must develop the culture of peace, the culture of Humanness, the culture of living the way God wants us to live, Obasanjo added. The coordinator of the program and former executive secretary of the National Universities Commission, Professor Peter Oke Bukola, said the essence of the symposium was to further drive home Obasanjo's commitment to the Africa youth. Oke Bukola, who is the director of the Institute for Africa Culture and International Understanding, Ulushegu Ambassador Presidential Library, said this event is a testimony to the belief that it is not enough to grant young people a seat at the table. Their involvement must be vital and meaningful. Through targeted intervention, inclusive policies, and international collaboration, we aim to empower West African youth as catalysts for positive change, paving the way for a more peaceful and harmonious society. Right. These are the words of uh, former President, His Excellency, Chief Olushegu Aremu of Basenjo, to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He's advising him that for him to put an end 
to the rising hardship and suffering in Nigeria that it should visit Zimbabwe for help since Zimbabwe just conquered just recently. Please like this video, share this video, and share your thoughts on the comment section. Thank you.